Good morning, everyone. Today is day three. Yes, today is day three. And we are just doing our normal morning routine. And then Chris is going to work again this morning. We're going to do similar yesterday. Today is a Saturday. But that doesn't really matter in, you know, once you're not working in a regular schedule. So he's going to work in the morning. We're going to eat lunch. And then we're going to go back into the park. And we decided today we were going to either do a hike or take the kayak and since the water was so beautiful we really wanted to experience that a little bit more so we're going to be going into the west side of the park a different side and we're going to take the kayak in today i do not have any lemons left so that means it's time for our soul Breakfast is half a gluten-free bagel with some ghee on it and some scrambled eggs with spring onion. Okay, Chris, so explain to us what you were just doing outside. So I was looking at the brake wiring because when we pulled in here a few days ago, um, right before I turned everything off, I looked at the brake controller and it was giving us that short overload reading again which is kind of like our worst nightmare. We were getting that a couple months, not even a couple months ago, and it took us like a month and three trips to Camping World to get it figured out and fixed. So I got underneath and I'm looking at the wiring. The wiring goes from the, there's a pigtail at the front of the camper that hooks into the truck. And that wiring, for the brakes at least, goes inside the camper all the way back and drops down into where the wheels are. Actually on this side of the, camper and it hooks into those two wheels and then it goes through the two axles and hooks into those two wheels so um, from what I could tell really the only trouble spot at least that I can see is still where the wiring goes into the axle there was some electrical tape on there but it was already kind of old and worn so I pulled that out a little bit and redid that and put it back in everything is functioning correctly sitting here but that's not that doesn't necessarily tell us a whole lot because we really need to be on the road where the wires are you know kind of bumping around just a little bit like they do in normal travel and that's when we really find out if the wires are moving around and you know if a bare piece of wire is hitting something and, and causing a short so. so we'll see but that is part of it is just doing one step at a time trying to figure it out as much as you can take the steps necessary that you can to try to fix the problem and then as it arises, as you walk through each step, focusing on the next one. So tomorrow we will find out for sure. And for now, Chris has done all that he can. That's right. Today we have our leftover chicken chili with, and I just put a little bit of extra cayenne pepper on top. I must confess to you all that I have a problem with cleaning out my fridge. <laughs> I blame my mother <laughs> because I know that she had a problem with it as well. I can remember as a child that her mother used to come and visit us. She was um, a widow and so she would stay with us uh, for like three months out of the year. I mean she would come for extended visits you know and live with us and um, Every time that she came, I can remember that little gray-haired lady. She'd run right over to the fridge and clean my mom's fridge out for her because she knew that that was the one thing that my mom just, it was on the bottom of her list. And I inherited that. It is always on the bottom of my list. And so one of the ways that Chris sh shows his love, we'll say, is that he knows this about me. He recognizes this. And when it comes time, when the fridge is terrible, he always quietly without saying a word starts cleaning it and it always helps me to get motivated and actually do it I we're actually very clean organized people we usually don't have but the fridge is my one kryptonite wouldn't you agree Chris yes that is affirmative that's affirmative so we did done some uh, cleaning projects Chris actually cleaned the vents with a we have a small shop back those vents right down there on the floor 
So he vacuumed those out and I was just cleaning up some things around the kitchen. Tomorrow is a moving day for us so I also looked, it's also a Sunday, so I also looked to see if we could find a church. There is a, a church in the area here in Coram that would be a good fit for us. The only problem is the service is not until 11 and our checkout here is at 11. So I think what we're going to end up doing is just doing a, something online, a sermon online. So we're getting packed up. I packed our dinner again and we are getting ready to head back into the park and we're taking the kayak with us. We just stopped at a roadside stand on our way back into the park because I wanted to get some gifts for our families. I do like to do that and bring some stuff back for them. So we wanted to get some Huckleberry stuff because that's, you know, popular here and something that, um, you know, is unique. We don't have Huckleberries back home. So uh, we did that. But the guy that was running the place, I mean, he was just, you know, you stop at some of these local places and meet the real locals. And, and there is just such a fun experience. And he, um, he had some pictures of himself feeding these grizzly bears and so we started talking about that and there used to be a bear park here uh, where I guess you could actually do that it no long it's no longer open as I already mentioned today we were going to the west side of the park we drove through pole bridge and continued on the unpaved roads to our destination Lake Bowman Okay, we finished up our paddle. We kind of got chased off by a pretty good thunderstorm there and some lightning, but we just really enjoyed it. Now we're just going to eat mm -hmm. dinner in our car. Um, I have boring sandwiches, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Mango slices and cucumbers, and I also brought some olive oil potato chips. So that is dinner tonight. And why are we eating in our car? Well, the flies are pretty bad out here. I think it just got really worse because the, it rained a little bit, and so now yes, they're just... and the wind died down. Like, right before the rain came in, it got calm, and we were out on the water, some flies got a little bad, and then once yeah, it rained, so then we came ashore, and the flies were pretty bad at that point, so we're just going to stay in the, the car to eat. We're big wusses. Yeah, <laughs> We've been on the road for a year and a half, and we're sticking <laughs> to the car. It's too many flies Sounds out there. Bad, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's quarter of seven, and we just walked back down to the lake after dinner to spend a little bit of time there. But the, there's another storm rolling up, and it's a pretty good one. And we we love thunderstorms, yeah. so we've been really enjoying hearing. You can hear it in the trees. You can see it a little, a little bit of the darkness behind us there. So yeah. So we're just gonna pack up and. And start, start heading, heading back. back to the campground. Okay, we made it back out of the park and it is 8 o'clock when we got home. So now we're just going to clean things up for the night. And see Chris out the window. He took the kayak and he uh, hosed it down. There you can see it. 
Uh, every time after we get out of the water, we always do that just to protect the different water areas and also just to keep it clean. And now overnight, since we're going to be packing up in the morning, overnight this will dry and tomorrow morning he can pack it back up. Okay, so I also cleaned, uh, did a couple steps tonight to prepare us for tomorrow morning. I cleaned our kitchen sink. Um, I also went through some of the things in the fridge and I made us uh, some chicken salad for lunch so I won't have to have a sandwich. Yay. And then I also put together something for breakfast a while. I just made a set of chia pudding. Um, you just mix the uh, coconut water. I add a little extra water just to thin it a little bit because I use the full fat coconut milk. Not coconut water. Coconut milk and a little bit of water, sorry. And some chia seeds. So I put that in overnight so that that can gel for the, the for our breakfast tomorrow. And part of the reason that I'm being a little bit more prepared to and going through the fridge is because we're not going to have sewer at the next place. So that's two, two nights without sewer. That's not too bad, but the hardest thing about sewer is the kitchen sink. So anything that I'm doing in the kitchen sink, I can't drain. And that uh, tank fills really quickly. So I do try to get some things prepared ahead of time so that we're, you know, I, I'm not having to cook as much when I don't have that hookup. So that's pretty much it. Chris is patiently waiting for me. He wants to watch a show tonight. So we're going to watch a show. It is now 10 of 9. We're going to watch a show and then we'll probably be done. Sounds about right. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to jump in the shower. And then that's about it. So we'll see you tomorrow.